all birds find a shelter during the rain but the eagle avoids the rain by flying above the clouds problems are common but attitude makes the difference this is what we believe in at diems and say let us rise above the rest in pursuance of excellence in the field of technical education the marathwada shikshan prasarak mandal one of the leading educational trusts imparting quality education to more than 1 lakh students every year entered the field of professional education on its golden jubilee celebration in the name of the Deogiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies Aurangabad started with 300 students in 2009 it has grown to over 3000 students offering technical and management education with ultra-modern infrastructure and facilities. It is recognized amongst the top 100 private engineering institutes across India by Times Engineering, which is a Times of India initiative. The institute is approved by the AICTE, accredited by NAC, and affiliated to the Baba Sahib Ambedkar Technological University, Lonere, Raigad, Maharashtra. The institute offers an industry-oriented syllabus. Internship from the first year itself gives a choice of open electives from the second year and six months of industrial training in the final year, enabling students to develop knowledge as per industrial requirements. The institute offers the B.Tech and M.Tech courses in various disciplines like Mechanical Engineering, Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, as well as a master's in business administration. Leaders become great not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. Creative learning, personal attention, individual counseling and valuable guidance open up a world of new ideas which infuse the motivated students and staff with positive energy and creative thoughts. This can be expressed as a unique equation. DIEMS is equal to discipline, plus academics, plus placements. Why DIEMS? There are more than 40 spacious and well-ventilated classrooms which provide a healthy environment for innovative classroom learning. More than 60 well-equipped laboratories with best-in-class equipments meet not only the requirements of the syllabi, but they are also intended to give practical experience to the students. The students here enjoy the fun of performing various scientific experiments. Playing with various circuit components and seeing how they work in real time is the best way to learn. Competent teachers demonstrate the experiments in the labs and the students get opportunities to explore inside and beyond the classrooms. These labs provide the facilities for performing practicals on the related concepts on each subject. There are updated software and equipment for the different subjects. Here the future engineers experiment with, test and prove theorems. Every laboratory aims to prepare students with the knowledge and ability to improve, evaluate, design and control sustainable and cost-effective technologies in order to make innovative and useful contributions to humanity. In order to ensure that the students are well aware of the required industrial standards, not just theoretically but also in practice, we at DIEMS have a fully equipped central workshop. Here, the students are not only informed about the various stages in the making of a job, but they also get a chance to perform all these jobs on the shop floor. The students complete their projects in the workshop for vehicle manufacturing and assembling of parts. Here, we make sure that our future engineers never miss out on the finest details regarding the various elements of manufacturing. The institute's library is enveloped in a serene atmosphere. It has a spacious reading room and serves the students and the faculty with more than 30,000 reference books, periodicals, magazines, newspapers and journals. Our digital library provides the students with online books and e-journals, articles, video lectures, manuals and many more. It also provides updates, study material and databases on a large scale, all of which support the academic curriculum of students. Our students enjoy the facility of an elegant seminar hall for conducting guest lectures, training programs and technical events. The spacious conference room is outfitted with presentation technology for conducting conferences, meetings and presentations. To meet the requirement of activity-based programs, short-term training programs and technical workshops, two distinct seminar halls have been provided. 
understanding the dynamics of industrial expectation at the national and international levels, this year the students have been trained by companies like TCS, Techrel and Barclays. The highest number of job offers was achieved in 2019 with offers from companies like Baijus, Wipro Technologies, Reliance Geo, Atlas Copco India Limited, Dhut Transmission, Jaro Education, Hire, Sintel and many others. The highest compensation package offered was 9 lakh rupees per annum. The girls as well as boys hostels of DIEMS is located in a safe and secure campus and it is indeed a new home away from home. Strict rules are followed and discipline is not compromised. The mess is a great place where food is cooked to perfection and where the homemade flavors and tastes and affordable prices are a hit with the hostelites. Well, the canteen is the favorite place for the students to relax from their hectic schedules. It is also the best place for students to mingle in groups. We encourage our students to excel not just in academics but also in sports. Situated in the center of our campus is a vast lush green playground where students can bring out the athlete in them. Under the NSS activity, the students take concrete steps to discharge their social responsibility by performing various activities like organizing tree plantation drives and blood donation camps, check dam construction and conducting street plays. The institute has also adopted a village, Sultanpur, under this initiative and are educating the local people every year about critical subjects like water conservation, environmental awareness and child education. The college frequently takes the students on industrial visits to various companies with the objective of providing them exposure to real-world problems and inculcate a practical approach. More than 500 industrial visits have been arranged so far. DIEMS has a strong network with the corporate sector, professionals and industrial experts and regularly hosts expert talks with the noble intention of keeping the students updated with the latest trends and practices in the industry. More than 350 expert talks have been arranged annually. As a part of Industry Institute Interaction, 102 of our students worked in the industry on 34 live projects under GIZ initiative. To develop the students' sometimes enigmatic personalities, there are 20 active clubs in the institute. The Deogiri Cycling Club has completed an arduous expedition from Jammu to Kanyakumari giving the message save the girl child and another expedition from Aurangabad to Bhutan which had the message a pollution free Asia. The Red Hat Academy helps students differentiate themselves by providing enterprise ready Linux and open source advanced training which develops skills that are in demand. More than 150 students have been certified so far and more than 50 students have got jobs in open source technologies. Show 2019 was a one-of-a-kind exhibition project in which the projects were prepared by first-year engineering students under the course Engineering Exploration. These students generated 35 great ideas, worked on 12 neat statements and developed 60 projects along with the final year students who exhibited their lab to land projects. More than 6,000 visitors visited this mega event. Recently, the Institute had organized the flagship fourth international conference on computing in engineering and technology. Here, researchers, engineers and scientists from around the world participated and presented their research papers which were published in the AISC series of Springer. The Institute is well known for its dazzling academic records. The students have brought glory to the institute with consistent performances in the university exams by securing top ranks in the merit list and setting new benchmarks every year. We have excelled with flying colors in technical events as well. Team Dynamic Boosters won the general championship in the Student Cart Design Challenge Season 2 held at Hyderabad and also stood second runner-up in the Bharat Formula National Level Go-Kart Championship held at Coimbatore in March 2019. The all-girls team Tejaswini got the best cost-effective report award and visionary award in the Saur Urja Vehicle Challenge held in March 2019. Recently, team Bhumiputra won the best innovation award for the Onion Harvester in the event Tifan organized by SAE India.
A college is marked by its multifaceted cultural events that include its annual social gathering. Eminent personalities from the civil services and the industry are invited as chief guests and they are invariably a great source of inspiration to the youngsters. The festival includes various events where the students are given a unique platform to think, step forward and showcase their talents. This event has its own color and is very unique in its own way. This year too, we celebrated Quasars 2019 with the unique theme of patriotism dedicated to the brave Indian soldiers who sacrificed their lives during the Pulwama attack. Financial support of 5 lakh rupees was given to the families of the martyrs. DIEMS providing education ingrained with moral and social values to bring out the youth as professional and responsible citizens with character and humility beyond compare. DIEMS an institute where the sky is not the limit and so we say let us rise above the rest hello my name is Vinayak Podar and I'm from computer science department I recently got placed in Baidu's Think and Learn private limited through the campus placement drives so along with the technical education the social skills also need to be developed uh, equally uh, and for this the college has been striving hard by uh, keeping events such as uh, inspire talks because of which the students are getting more connected to the industry and the industry people. So thank you Devgiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies for providing me with such a great opportunity to me and all my friends. Hello everyone, my name is Vaishnavi Solumke and I am a computer science graduate from Devgiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies. Today I am placed in ASP OL Media Private Limited and the credit for this goes to the college. The college conducted aptitude trainings and soft skill programs for the students and I feel proud and privileged to be a part of DIEMS family. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Duip Kohli from Mechanical Department and I am from Bombay. I have uh, selected this institute because of its unique features like the mentor mentee scheme which develops a strong bond between the students and the teachers. And at the same time, it also allowed me to participate in various competitive events. And also, it given me the opportunity to participate and be shortlisted in various multinational companies like John Deere and Cummins. Hello, I am Swati Kakare, pass out from DIEMS, currently working in a Microsoft as an associate consultant in data and AI. And I would like to thank DIEMS for their cooperation and support. Hello, everyone. My name is Aditya Konade. I am a site reliability engineer at Red Hat Germany. I am a computer science engineering graduate from the IMS with the batch of 2017 and I thank the college for their continued support and engagement. I am Purnima Zalke. I am a civil engineer passed out from DIEMS. I am uh, currently working as an environmental health and safety officer in MNT construction in water division. And I thanks DIEMS for their valuable inputs, support and guidance. Hello, this is Yogesh Gawande, BE Mechanical from 2018 batch. I have started my own startup company when I was in second year in DIMS. Uh, I would like to say that DIMS is a very good institute for uh, aspiring engineering students. It has all the facilities to meet the needs of students. I am thankful to management and DIMS family. Thank you. Hello, I'm Saidi from BECSC 2018 batch. Currently, I'm working as Associate Quality Engineer at Red Hat Bangalore. I would like to say that the Institute has been very supportive and has played a phenomenal role in my success. I would like to thank the DIMS family and feel immensely proud that I got a chance to be a part of it. A very good um, good morning to one and all present here. I, Yogesh Mangulkar, welcome you all on behalf of Devgiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies, Aurangabad, for today's webinar on sustainability in product design. Before going to start the session, I would like to introduce today's speaker, Dr. N. L. Parthasarthi, Scientific Officer, 
मटेरियल डेवलपमेंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डिविजन कल्पकम डॉक्टर एन एल पार्थासारथी सर ऑप्टेन हिज बैचलर इन मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम मद्रास यूनिवर्सिटी इन टू थाउजेंड वन एम टेक इन प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम एम एस यूनिवर्सिटी इन टू थाउजेंड टू एम एस सी इन टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट इन टू थाउजेंड फोर फ्रॉम सिक्किम मणिपाल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड हिज पी एच डी इन मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन टू थाउजेंड टेन फ्रॉम एन आई टी थ्री जी फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फाइव टू टू थाउजेंड सेवन डॉक्टर पार्था सारथी सर वर्क एज अ प्रोजेक्ट एसोसिएट ऑन टाटा स्टील कंसल्टन्सी प्रोजेक्ट इन एन आई टी थ्री जी फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सेवन टू टू थाउजेंड टेन सर हैज वर्क एज यंग साइंटिस्ट फॉर डी एस टी फास्ट ट्रैक एस सी आर सी फंडेड प्रोजेक्ट इन एन आई टी थ्री जी ड्यूरिंग हिज रिसर्च पीरियड डी एस टी सैंक्शन फोर्टीन लैख रुपीज फॉर कैरिंग आउट द फास्ट ट्रैक यंग साइंटिस्ट प्रोजेक्ट एन टाइटल्ड होल एक्सपैंडेबिलिटी एंड क्रैश वर्दीनेस ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम अलॉय टेलर वेल्डेड ब्लैंक्स फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड टेन ऑनवर्ड्स सर वर्किंग एज साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर इन मेटल फॉर्मिंग ट्राइबोलॉजी प्रोग्राम मटेरियल टेक्नोलॉजी डिविजन आई जी कार कल्पकम इज मेन एरियाज ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड रिसर्च आर मेटल फॉर्मिंग एंड ट्राइबोलॉजी स्टडीज ही हैज पब्लिश्ड थर्टी फाइव स्टडीज इन इंटरनेशनल जर्नल्स सेवन इन नैशनल नैशनल जर्नल्स Thirty in international and national conferences and three book chapters. With this introduction, I once again welcome Dr. N. L. Partha Sarthi Sir, Partha Sarthi Sir, on behalf of D. I. M. S. Family. Thank you for being with us today. Now I request Director of Devgiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies. Dr. Ullas Shurkar Sir, to preamble the session. Uh, am I audible, Yogesh? Hello, am I audible? Hello, Yogesh. Hello, am I audible? हेलो यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल सर यस सर ओके 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 a uh, very good morning to all of you today's resource person nk sir parthasarthi the head of the department professor saur the coordinator of this webinar professor yogesh mangolkar all my colleagues and my dear friend first of all i wish you all the best and wish you good future on the occasion of guru purnima right now we are living in a very odd position of this ambiguity volatile situation hello 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 right now we are living in odd position and what is the topic of this today's webinar is consider sustainable the product development is really a good theme to be thought everybody of us when we are talking about the product i am not a person from mechanical engineering but when you are talking about the products and sustainable the design i just remembering one product that is called a sewing machine shilai machine jo apni hoti hai and really if we go to the history of when the sewing machine was invented and what are how many years it was carried out the design and everything particularly talking with dr parthas sir his research work his credits his development his involvement with all the metal forming and metallurgy it is really creditable once again 
I am very thankful to Partha Sarthi sir, all the attendees, and wishing you all the best for your future. Thank you, Yogesh. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, now I request Dr. N L Partha Sarthi sir to take over the charge. Yogesh, mala bahar kar. Good morning, participants. I thank the management, uh, the organizers, uh, actually Professor Mandulkar, Professor Vijas, for giving me an opportunity to deliver uh, a short talk in this webinar entitled uh, "Sustainable Product Design and Conceptualization." The topic of uh, today's talk is sustainable product design. and conceptualization. So it's more of an MBA topic, uh, which has to be a part of an engineering curriculum. So most of the slides will be having a kind of animation. Since the topic is of more of industrial engineering, people used to get bored um, if you have more of narrative texts and paragraphs, which will have a feel of a textbook approach. So this will have a practical industrial kind of uh, existing products uh, which can be understood by small small animations which can be easily embedded on the powerpoint platform so i thank all my uh, teachers my guides my friends my family members for making this uh, occasion more gracious so without their support uh, my position and my uh, today's talk is not possible so let us uh, get into the topic. The contents are like this. First, we are going to see a few slides about the introduction of a cycle thinking and pollution prevention. And all those things, uh, what is GIF? GIF is a computer uh, science topic, graphic interface formats. Why do we? Uh, issues and complex technologies how can a small animation will enable us to understand the topic of uh, sustainability few examples currently in the industry scenario and uh, what sustainability in product design will take you where will it take you what will be the end point if you have the proper sustainability in your product so first slide the second slide itself uh, shows you the parking lot in which the inclined roof of the parking lot has been meticulously designed by photovoltaic cells which will harvest the solar energy so the main purpose is to provide the shadow for the parking vehicles though that is the prime requisite the additional benefit derived from the parking lot is harvesting the solar energy so that is why i wanted to include from the very first slide the concept of sustainability in the product development or in the service provider's perspective. So the very uh, basic uh, three pillars of sustainability, if we want to get introduction of the sustainability and life cycle thinking, the main uh, three pillars of sustainability environment. So this is a very uh, school level Venn diagram makes us to understand the cross-section of the three departments are three pillars economy which is concentrating on the profit sector, profit margin environment environment that is about the planet uh, perspective the society society uh, which is comprising of the people when you the concurrent uh, topic called sustainability so you should know how uh, the intersection of these Venn diagrams make us to understand the triple bottom line. Sustainability is coined by the triple bottom line. So we, any kind of business, uh, we need to have the, the unique selling point of sustainable business, which is environment friendly, people friendly, and it should also have the economic perspective. The business 
will run when you have a profitable uh, turnover year after year. So this is a typical product life cycle thinking where you have that starts with any kind of business. It starts with an extraction of raw materials, goes to the design and production, packaging, distribution, and use and maintenance. In some cases, we have the chance of reusing. So in some cases, we don't have to use, say, for um, uh, medical and uh, surgical applications. There is no chances of reusing and recycling. We go for incineration and dis the post disposal. Even uh, to some extent of uh, used fuels in power plants, they go for incineration, they go for underground storage, they go for abandoned storage in, in uh, disposals, waste disposals. Certain things can be reused, recycled, recycling materials and components. This is the product life cycle thinking of any kind of uh, product. So we are going to uh, work upon the six RE philosophy. The uh, life cycle thinking and pollution prevention is being uh, framed with uh, emphasis of six RE philosophy. One is rethinking, rethinking of uh, which can be making the product more efficiently and uh, reducing the energy consumptions, reducing the energy and material consumption throughout the product's life cycle, replace harmful substances with more environmentally friendly alternatives, uh, recycle, uh, select materials that can be recycled and uh, build products such as uh, is disassembled easier for recycling, reuse, design the product so what can be reused, repair, make the product easy to repair so that the product does not uh, it need to be replaced. So these are all the six R philosophy. Any basic uh, uh, textbook or any book which preaches uh, sustainability will have. This is again one block diagram where we have the life cycle management, the life cycle based on environment policies, green distribution, green marketing. So what is uh, the difference between distribution and green distribution? When you involve uh, fossil fuels for your distribution, it is not a green distribution. When you involve uh, an emissionless uh, transportation for the finished and semi-finished goods, say a cycle, say a um, uh, kind of a movement in which it requires, it, it requires no fuels, so that kind of uh, battery operated uh, vehicles, those kind of uh, distribution comes under the green distribution, green marketing, cleaner production in terms of emissions, green procurement. So the, these all these uh, topics. Okay. So now onwards, so you'll have a different perspective of uh, studying the sustainability. So what do you see in this animation? A cat is trying to pass over. The flooded zone. So uh, the flood is the existing condition right now. So what is the cat trying to do? So the cat is actually trying to use the acquired knowledge. So during the normal days, it has observed the place and it comes to know that there is a fence lying. And uh, now during the critical days like floods and uh, unexpected conditions, it is taking the knowledge from the acquired ones and uh, it is taking the track on the fence to minimize the wetting. So this is how human beings need to work for a sustainability in your product. So you have to take the knowledge uh, during the normal days and apply it during the requirement on the critical time. So that is what I want to have this animation. I, I feel I am I'm more uh, inspired by this animation because the cat, you can see that it actually, it's not swimming. It is taking the guide of the steel uh, fence, which is lying inside the water. It ensures the reinforcement by holding it on the steel uh, fence and it crosses the uh, water with a minimum amount of wetting its body. So why do we want to have such kind of ideas? Because uh, Sustainable design uh, is meaning from uh, already uh, uh, from people to people, we have different perspective. So in a textbook perspective, the three pillar approach of people, planet, profit, otherwise society, environment and economy will have, uh, uh, it is a, it is a 
uh, concurrence between these three pillars. So, what does it mean to you? How do you feel? The energy saving or uh, saving the paper uh, may be sounding a little conservative, but when you uh, understand the philosophy behind saving a paper, so if you save one ton of paper uh, in the name of uh, uh, digital uh, uh, world or uh, e-filing, you reduce the printing of papers. If you reduce one ton of paper, in turn we reduce uh, we save 17 trees in one ton of paper, 300 gallons of oil, 400 kilowatts of energy, and 7,000 gallons of water. So we are in a position because the earth is no more uh, mother earth. We have almost um, exploited all the possible resources like water uh, and other resources. Now the earth is defined as daughter earth. We are about to give something to the earth. We are we are already taken more uh, resources from the air. Earlier it was called as mother air. Now it is actually in the form of daughter air. So we are not in the luxury of wasting seven thousand gallons of water for the sake of one ton of paper. So now uh, we are gradually getting into the concept why we have animations and slides. Yeah, it's a, a easy thing to embed in a PowerPoint, and it will not take you more memory. And it conveys uh, almost how a video conveys. And we can always have our own voiceover uh, on the animation instead of having somebody one some someone's voiceover. If someone says uh, um, uh, uh, dinosaurs were was the biggest reptile which lived in the uh, earth, and during uh, uh, most of the time their habitat is with the walking with two legs in uh, with the two hands in an upright posture it may be a little hard to understand because uh, current status there is no understanding or no uh, living uh, dinosaur but uh, the smallest reptile which is a garden lizard during uh, uh, critical conditions they start to walk like a dinosaur like uh, they don't use the front uh, limbs they use the hind limbs to uh, run in terms of uh, walking or running in water so if you see the animation this gives you the feel how the dinosaurs have been living with the upright portions uh, uh, the reptile life so that can be coming into the visualization of the learner who is starting as a layman so that is a graphic interface format it has been uh, introduced by a company Composer in 1987. It's a widespread usage of World Wide Web, that is WWW, due to the wide support and portability. We can pick and place in any of the slides to understand the concepts. Okay, this is about the engineering perspectives. Uh, most of the uh, engineering departments, almost all the engineering departments will have uh, first year engineering drawing in which the, the drawing uh, professor used to say imagine imagine uh, a lion is being revolved a solid is being generated when a lion is uh, developed we get a plane when a plane is uh, uh, rotated along an axis we get a solid so we gradually move from production of points production of lines production of planes production of solids then get into the intersection of uh, section of solids, isometric projection, it keeps on going. So for that, we need to kindle our imagination. So such kind of gifs will give you an understanding of what is synchronized and harmonious uh, generation of solids uh, and how to visualize it uh, in small animations. One such uh, slide is like, how do you understand the rotation and revolution? What is a rotation and what is a revolution? You can see this uh, this particular animation in which you have uh, the two phenomena taking place. Uh, globally, you see it is taking an anti-clockwise uh, uh, revolution, and if you see in more local, you can see the anti-clockwise uh, rotation of every single element. So, for our understanding rotation and revolution, even for the level of an uh, engineering student. 
some animations can prove you yes understanding instead of proofs on narrative text animations will be very handy to understand the concepts so few more examples are being so if you see this particular animation somebody who is of more athletic we interpret that as a basketball somebody will be of, uh, they will be like um, a glowing uh, lamp shape but there is a concept of uh, paints and gradiently uh, uh, paints for the desirability in the world. So usually when light falls on the uh, uh, light falls on the object, object uh, will get lustrous uh, shine on the faces. So this is a phenomenon which is uh, preferred in automobile especially cars we have several customization of cars uh, in which the customers demand the cars to have lustrous finish on the corners so such inspiring ideas was got uh, can be understood by these kind of animations when a light falls on the surface the surface nearer to the light falling zone will have a lustrous shiny shiny finish so such kind of variation in the chemical composition of the paints may vary uh, can produce uh, the same glossy finish even in uh, uh, in a less illuminated place the finish can be attained the finish can be achieved so this is one uh, non synchronous uh, we, we are all familiar with the kaleidoscope in which you have broken bangles uh, or glass pieces and you have a triangular uh, mirror in which you get a multiple internal reflection and uh, that is a symmetric kind of uh, mm, multiple internal reflection making you to get the feel of uh, beautiful uh, designs of uh, uh, images so one such uh, thing is inspired by this kaleidoscopic uh, gif uh, if you say if you what do you conceive by this animation if uh, if somebody is a very foodie who is very uh, attached to the kitchen and uh, food items they say it's a scoop of ice cream if you show the same animation to a mechanical engineering who is on hands on works with workshop and day to day uh, lubrication he, for him it's a, just a scoop of a grease so the perspective differs from pe people to people and the amount of interest on certain subjects this again and this animation gives you understanding of uh, a jelly for a foodie at the same time if you go to uh, any medical profession they may say it's mimicking the pumping of a heart so what is uh, our ultimate aim of sustainability in a product so in sustainability uh, incorporated product uh, we call uh, uh, we call an apple as an orange so it may be little uh, funny to hear it when is an apple not an apple uh, it is like you see uh, an apple is now kept on a ballot or a purse in which the purse looks like an orange so apples are not apples it's oranges like uh, you have a product which has its intended function hiddenly uh, being uh, underlined which will have some more added values in terms of environmental perspective so if you buy an apple it's no more an apple it, or it is also an orange so it satisfies the customer in terms of uh, environmental sustainable perspective so in sustainability design apples are not just apples they are oranges so we will able to understand why i say apple is not an apple and it is an orange we'll see that in forthcoming slides so we have seen this uh, drilling machine for only drilling so we have seen it but you can see that the next slide itself making a, a, a peeler made out of a jugard wave uh, having it control speed and you just tilt the peeler uh, similar to that of a single point cutting tool in a lathe producing a continuous chip of the peeled uh, skin of the apple an apple is a symmetrically uh, 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 circular object which is being generated from the y axis it's a sphere so this is how we convert 
a drilling machine is no more a drilling machine. Now it has become a kitchen accessory, culinary application. So when you have a non-symmetric uh, uh, arrangement like a potato or a, or a pineapple, uh, it's, it takes an engineering graphic uh, uh, object called a truncated cone. A truncated cone, we have to have uh, the alteration, the optimization of the speeds and the holding of the field. So this is having one light center. Can we have a light center and a dead center uh, uh, which is mimicking the lid? Yes, we can have that and we can have the slicing of it. It's quite possible for the cutting operations of fruits. So by this animation, what do you inspire? Uh, this animation makes you to understand the importance of development of surfaces as well as uh, the splines of springs making you to get the feel of egg beater in cake making. Most of the uh, people who make cake, they'll be acquainted with this kind of egg beating operations. And suddenly, when you get into the furnitures, if you need a furniture to accommodate, you have planned a party for 10 people and suddenly the turnout seem to be 15 people. Suddenly, we cannot hire a better area, but the serving table can be extended if you have an explodable. So, if you say this is a result of development of surfaces from engineering graphics, uh, at the first time you may look a little peculiar, but yes, this is actually development of surfaces in which you end up with uh, a wonderful product of uh, explodable uh, furnitures. Suddenly, uh, the other way is also possible. If somebody has uh, turned down the invitation and uh, you have to reduce the servicing area, so it should be in the other way also, four double tables which can reduce the uh, serving area. This is a very simple sustainable development. If the other person is not uh, in, in the scene, you can just uh, fold it and use the maximized one one for the it's like it's again uh, uh, the visualization of um, development of areas of engineering practice. so in uh, in countries like singapore and uh, malaysia where they have acute shortage of uh, spaces uh, owning a 2 bhk is a very luxurious thing they have life space uh, modification in which a living space will be uh, slightly modified into a bed and you have a, a, a rack-like shelves for kids and elders. So there are some uh, sustainable uh, area conscious furnitures which are already functioning in European countries and uh, Middle East and Southeast uh, countries, Singapore and Malaysia countries. So when you get into the concept of uh, sustainability or the products, what we have, whatever we come across can all we have the a point of uh, sustainability. So the used car batteries, which can be converted into the planting pots, is one good example. The frames of the goggles, spectacles made up of wooden one is very environmental friendly, which is biodegradable. The toys which can be made, uh, the fabrics which is uh, biodegradable, these kind of uh, concepts can be incorporated into uh, any design can have. Uh, always a good share of the sustainable design okay so this is a product which has won and uh, best sustainability product award in the year 2016. you may be uh, looking a little funny at that but a person who is morbidly obese who is uh, tummy is 46 say 50 inches big his Herculean task of reaching his own legs is uh, not just a, a joke, or it cannot be uh, it cannot be neglected in his perspective. So wearing a socks for a fat person is a really Herculean task. So if you have this uh, preparatory thing done by his uh, uh, friends or his uh, own hospitality workers, it makes him to slip in inside the socks and ensures him to wear the socks with the least amount of uh, uh, mechanical stresses. So this is a simple one how you grow uh, 
the capacity of the container with respect to the quantity of the liquid poured uh, to shape memory alloys and other things are being worked according to the quantity of the fluid what we pour the volume of the container grows so this is when uh, sustainability which is there in the animals zebra zebra has uh, its own sustainability in the concept of environmental consciousness the stripes which is present on the body white and black stripes are present on the body it makes uh, their body to have a thermal equilibrium in the african desert because uh, we cannot provide any air conditioning uh, in the deserts to the entire community because the desert will have a temperature shooting about 50 48 degrees celsius in namib deserts of africa so these black stripes naturally uh, physics of light says that the black stripes will absorb light absorb heat white stripes will radiate the heat so the white and black alternate stripes uh, will act as a thermal equilibrium and air condition over the zebras also it gives the camouflage for the predators so certain ideas can be uh, Um, observed from the nature and incorporated on the products the, the inspiration taken from the biological flora and fauna to the engineering one is called as biomimetics one such animal is uh, uh, giraffe giraffe is camelo leopardus it has uh, very less amount of sleep time high blood pressure so the color and other natures makes it to get a camouflage it walks very quickly so it is a mix of a camel sage and the grains of leopard so camelopardis paralis is the zoological name so now we get into the ecological uh, uh, the cycle between uh, uh, the fishes and the paddy form in orissa uh, even in the thailand they have a kind of uh, mutual uh, paddy fields they have the mutual ecological cycle between the, the paddies uh, uh, photosynthesis and the need of oxygen uh, on the paddy fields so the, the rice and fishing has been carried out side by side ecologically sustainability in farming during farming at the end of farming you will have beautiful uh, fishes which can cater the dishes in your kitchen so similarly bats dolphins also have uh, helping in eco location because it creates ultrasonic sounds uh, it listens at course it's uh, uh, so these kind of uh, uh, behavior a phenomenon from the animal can be taken as an inspiration for designing any kind of products which involves sound and other energies so this is a particular industry in 2016 there is a trends in pet industry in european countries most of the time is winter especially in germany austria almost 3 to 4 months you have no possibility of coming out of the house because it's heavy it's snowing so and uh, the average marrying age in the european country is above 40 the chances of having kids is very less it's a declining population in most of the countries like germany and canada the population is declining day by day the only source of uh, busting your stress is having a pet so pets the industry for the pet food industry the entertainment for the pets the furniture for the pets is a thriving industry in europe so it, it has to be having the concept of sustainable product design for when you come to a pet food industry pets furniture industry so the sustainability concept should be always be taken care for uh, designing a product for pet this is a growing uh, water can where you can have a folded uh, when it is not used it will not occupy of this much size foldable water cans yeah we have already come across in our trains for uh, foldable paper water cans yes this is a typical example for a uh, sustainability in your leg gear leg gear uh, usually you have two side two kinds of shoes one is a formal shoe other one is a sport shoe if you get into uh, much deeper in the classification of a shoe there is again two kinds of shoes one is a cut shoe and other one is a lace shoe Uh, cut shoe and lace shoe is uh, differing. Uh, like cut shoe will not have any threaded lace. You can just slip in. Lace shoe requires tying up your lace every time. But this is a mix-up of a lace look 
but it's a cut, cut shoe. So there is a zipper uh, around it where you can slip inside and have, use a zipper, but it gives you the appearance of a laced look. So those who are laziness in tying the laces, uh, they can try this kind of, and those who are very obese, those who cannot reach their own shoes, uh, they can try these kind of uh, sustainable products because it's all about uh, the pillar people. It also gives more concentration of people with uh, uh, deformities, people with inconveniences, people who are challenged. Yes, now you can see this is a best example, apples or not apples, they are oranges. In 1980s, if somebody is saying in your watch, you can see how many number of steps you have walked, what is your blood pressure in the watch, then definitely they say it must be the watch of James Bond. But nowadays, a normal watch, which is coming in the name of fitness gear, like uh, any kind of Fitbit, any kind of... Uh, Swatch, any kind of uh, fast track, big bit watches. They come with the number of steps you have. It comes with the pedometer basically. It counts your steps, it calculates your blood pressure. Not only that, it can be synchronized with your mobile via Bluetooth and infrared, possible way of uh, interfacing. It can give you alert for the calls, it can give you alert on the messages, social sites like WhatsApp, uh, your Hike Plus. Uh, you, you can scroll all sorts of, so it's a band, it's supposed to show only time, but not only shows the time, it gives you, so no, it's not just apples, it's oranges, it's pineapple, it's strawberry, so a lot of things in one single product, you have playlists, FM radios, you have alerts, SMS, you have social sites, uh, alarms, so that is the way uh, sustainability comes into a product. Uh, you come across various products in one single product and you see the size of the product has drastically reduced in terms of electronic waste it will add up lesser weight to handle the waste so one such uh, indianized uh, sustainable product is uh, tender coconut uh, puncturing device all of our uh, parents few of our senior uh, family members uh, may have uh, diabetes and you would have seen them having a glucometer or a check. The best simple example what you have is a uh, mechanical or a pen. When you give the click on the top, uh, the needle comes out. Uh, whereas uh, glucometer and check is the best example. Uh, the, the progress of the needle will be for a few seconds and it will retract immediately when you give the click. So this is a maximized amplified version of the glucometer or AccuCheck machine in which it enables you to puncture the tender coconut. You can puncture the tender coconut because opening of the tender coconut requires either skill or a sharpened knife. You have to train it, otherwise you will mess up with breaking it, spilling all the liquid out, all the tender coconut water out. This is one uh, tender coconut opener uh, where it can, uh, it's a loaded like a spring and it uh, once you give the uh, click, uh, it opens very easily, you can drink leisurely. So if you want to get into the uh, coconut meat, the malai, uh, we have a separate uh, another one to have the cutting and holding. So this is uh, already now they have got the pattern for that, now it's frequently available in Amazon. So you just imagine, you give the tender coconut to a, a, a small child or an elderly patient who cannot have this mechanical valor, strength to open the tender coconut. If you have this one particular, they can straight away use that as a straw and they can extract the tender coconut water from it. Can you see the uh, magnificence or the speciality of this product? Uh, speaking about the uh, uh, complexity, this less, but when you come up uh, across uh, the perspective of the user's point of view, it's really a wonderful product. This is one uh, dispenser. Uh, as a part and parcel of our uh, routine life, uh, going to parties, uh, visiting the bartenders is very uh, quite common phenomenon nowadays. Uh, any any kind of parties we have the uh, 
serving of alcoholic beverages or even uh, cocktails mocktails which mimic uh, like an alcoholic or non alcoholic so people are being very cautious uh, about the quantities because uh, you will have the breathalyzer test Uh, what is the prescribed amount of alcohol which is allowed to uh, pass the breathalyzer test so how much amount of quantity exactly 1.5 exactly not more than 2 pints you will not the luxury of over drinking if you are planning to have a try so this kind of dispensers exactly measures the amount of alcohol dispense in one uh, shot it gives only 30 ml so that is the speciality of this alcohol or any kind of beverage dispenser yes now you come to the animation of a clock clock uh, i used to have this animation because uh, the same egg when it gets the clock from inside the egg makes uh, the origination of a life that is when egg is broken from inside by some uh, natural movement of the chick and life originates the same egg which is prematurely broken from outside for making a, an omelet that life will come to termination so it's all the same clock but from which perspective we break is very important if you allow the egg for the gestation keep it for the hatching and the incubation takes place properly the chick will get the life and it gives the clock from clock from the inside from that moment the life originates whereas the egg is being broken in a premature condition from the outside i speak about the fertilized eggs so when it is broken from the outside perspective uh, life terminates but the end product is you will get omelets or uh, bullseye or poached eggs you will get if you break the eggs it's depending upon the requirement of the user or the nature this is about how furniture can be uh, just by modifying the skin of the top surface giving the feel of changing the new furniture instead of affording different uh, new models just by giving the fabric uh, a change and making the feel to give the new feel for the customers this one gives you without a welding or without a fastener how can we manufacture a chair yes this jaw is all just hangers which is being stacked on the uh, s frame so steel s frame hardly to have one or one or two joints one joints a forged and bended uh, steel pipe in which uh, the stacking of the so it creates very less amount of manufacturing time and gives you the same comfort yes different colors and uh, this is how the new ideas of product evolve in the furniture industry yes the the, the back side can be made as a uh, uh, the way where you can hold as a, a solution for that this is a coach that can you close it inside out so already how speaking about i was uh, speaking uh, about the importance of pets in european perspective so this is one particular tata is which is always been uh, since life is uh, tremendous and uh, the chances of uh, diseases for this organism is very less and it's very quiet and uh, amicable to the uh, person who is rearing it so we need a furniture which can serve uh, its own living place as well as uh, Uh, it's a start uh, to uh, very free to be seen users for smuggling it uh, they have some species association with some uh, kind of enemies uh, uh, horoscope they believe it brings good luck to them so the importance of their own living spaces is also important so we have to coexist with our pets and uh, they should have a good living spaces with our own furnitures this is explodable furniture that we have a huge shortage of spaces so once the gathering or the tea session is over we can reorganize it it's a collapsible uh, furniture which will serve four people once the tea session is over we can rearrange it so that it uh, occupies very minimal space in terms of sustainability concept incorporated in the furniture department yes
this one animation which i always have is you have an one rupee coin i have one rupee coin we both exchange our coins the end product is i have one rupee again you have uh, one rupee instant <laughs> i have an idea and you have a different idea we exchange ideas i will have two ideas you will also have two ideas so this is difference between exchange of an idea and exchange of a penny exchange of one rupee coin so you always discuss on ideas share your thoughts discuss with your friends so on discussion you will get more ideas his perspective may be different he may be coming from a business background that student will have a profitable idea the other person who comes from a, a, a farming in fact background they will have a biological agriculture oriented concept the person which have a teaching uh, perspective teaching background will have presentation skills better than somebody else so four different people may have four different ideas at the end of the session every single person will have four different ideas so this is the first tier sustainability equilibrium which can be taken to the next level of second tier sustainability so once the transition of first tier to second tier has happened the second tier will be a little longer term interactions compared to that uh, first one first tier will concentrate only on uh, profit planet and people that is economy environment and society whereas the second and the long term will have a sustainability equilibrium uh, in terms of longer term interactions for a quite long time uh, period so this one may is just a clip which can hold a cup so a clip usually meant, meant for holding papers or some uh, uh, some documents so it's a it's a product which can hold a cup also which can hold a weight so this is how this again uh, the product design uh, is comprising of uh, different entities like it should address the environmental phenomena ergonomics is a very nice department which is very uh, touched by very less number of people in our indian perspective ergonomics deals about the comfort of the user in terms of medical perspective you, you take a builder what is the posture to be maintained to have minimal amount of back aches ergonomics deal about the behavioral pattern what is the likeliness of a builder to have a tobacco addiction what is the effect of a tobacco addicted people to have uh physical comorbidities now we are in a panic situation where when uh, the covid conditions are very uh, vulnerable for the person who have comorbidities comorbidities like diabetic uh, cholesterol these issues so these kind of things can be uh, a part and parcel of uh, understanding as well as which can be exploited more for the studying purpose in the mechanical engineering department ergonomics is one particular interdisciplinary area in which you have human behavior human relations human health with the technology is taking place what is the interference of health and the engineer what is the quality of your product what sort of security if it is a software what is the licensing what is the licensing was it a perpetual one what sort of viral uh, malware and uh, software backup they give what the, what kind of firewalls they give what is the functionality of the product cost is very important aesthetics the beauty the surface finish the clarity the color options all is being governed by the aesthetics certain products could not attract women by us because they have very less number of color features in europe you cannot see any purple car you cannot see a pink car but in india you see lots of colors midnight green uh sea gray and pepper gray uh you have forest green blues uh, lots of blues cherry uh, cherry red wine red fire brick red in maruti alone you have three four types of reds which is unusual in european concept if you see a red color car in europe it will be a once in a blue moon time they have car is a car white black gray maximum these types of cars only they see for us uh, colors we are very, that is why we see we give more importance to aesthetics if people look for a purple car people look for a pink car a pink is a more of feminine color so these kind of uh, requirements being governed by the aesthetic department in the product design this is again a collapsible container for carrying our stationeries or kitchen culineries its wooden structures where we have uh, replaced with the used 
and uh, the wooden fiber pulp are being used. Brushes, they create a lot of uh, plastic waste. Uh, a few people, they every uh, two months, every month, they keep on changing the brushes. Once the characters of this bristles is lost, we have to change it. So we are dumping the earth with lots of plastic loads. And the reason for becoming planet conscious is there is no planet B. We have to live in this earth. See, it is like uh, saying that we cut all the woods and make beautiful French windows and wait in our houses for giving uh, for getting the breeze, which is not practically possible. We have cut all the woods and made a French window waiting in your homes to get the breeze. It's not possible. So woods are the one which uh, we don't we do if we don't start acting now nature will start acting against us. So uh, since we don't have any substitute of a livable planet other than Earth, we have to conserve Earth. So there is no planet B for us. These are all the other bamboo, bamboo related uh, wooden ones which can serve the kitchen and other day to day cutting operations for making uh, like. Uh, Sustainable, biodegradable uh, vessels and uh, kitchen accessories. This is again a bamboo, uh, which can be. This is actually cane, cane uh, things. Furnitures which has a sustainability concepts. This is about how to maximize the quantity. Functionality of the product. You can see the same scissors. And this is a lemongrass, which is required for topping up the salads. If somebody comes from the kitchen, chef, catering area, they will definitely appreciate such activities. It, it, it minimizes uh, the workload. In one stroke, you get four times your your work output is maximized four times. The same thing with salads for banana which has slices. The same one can be for boiled eggs, can be cut for, uh, this one is for corn peeler, which is a Herculean one. Uh, if you normally end up with plucking each corn one by one, this is a plucker uh, which is used to, you may just get wondered, what is the greatness in using this? So if you come to the scattering and uh, garnishing department, uh, they may appreciate if you pluck this uh, peduncle uh, without the juices getting lost, it gives you the flavor of uh, uh, the completeness in garnishing the food, especially deserts. So this is how they remove that in a more professional way when the catering uh, department is uh, requiring uh, professionalism. I was saying about the green logistics. This is how uh, it's a collapsible wheel because uh, suddenly you may not have who may be mastered in driving a, a cycle. So this kind of uh, three wheeled uh, cycles will definitely have a better balance in terms of riding. And whereas this particular portion can be used yeah, for carrying the semi-finished goods between from uh, one point of producing plant to the other plant. This is again an extendable uh, table which has a sliding uh, arrangement inside. I was saying, no, the, the reason for the tax cycle is to have an attachment like this, in which uh, the semi-finished goods can be transported, transported from one point to the next paper. And this is how we use the used tires. There are two kinds of automobile tires, what we have come across. One is a rubber radial, the other one is a steel radial. Rubber radial can be reached with that for three to four times, sometimes two times. So after the two time it's been retreated again and again, uh, that comes chunk. Handling this tire waste, very, very tough job in automobile sectors. And the other, the, uh, now in contrast, almost all the high-end uh, automobiles, cars, they use steel radials. Steel radial is the rubber part will have the reinforcement of the steel wires. Uh, Retreading of that steel radials is totally impractical. So some kind of reuse, uh, usually they use it for a road, uh, making up a road in which they burn that. It gives lots of uh, black fumes, which is very dangerous for the health of the human being as well as the environment. So the other possible ways of making the waste into taste, uh, 
the making the rubber is a part of the garden accessory for planting the pots. Several activities have been carried out uh, for planting it and uh, using that as this is a very inert member. Uh, it can have a good sort of thermal uh, resistance since it's a rubber, the conductivity is very less and water can be retained for a longer period. So one such uh, uh, conventional method of using the construction material carrying because it cannot be uh, meant for some uh, smaller applications. Uh, since rubber is meant to have uh, good wear and tear, construction material handling are these kind of parts which can serve uh, as a swing, merry-go, jula kind of things. This is the one which they try to make it as a seesaw. So as it starts, you may not un appreciate it, but when it gets finished, you get a seesaw feel. When you properly hinge the support, it will give, and the steel radial which should have enough inner inner and strength to carry the weight of the tree. This is one kind of uh, sustainable product for a traveler who love uh, hiking, who love trekking. They just want to have a reclining uh, rest uh, in their living spaces where in certain places you don't find any hotels uh, and uh, you are in some forest. This is a bag which ensures you ensure you a safe sleeping. Uh, they name the product as Pump and Jump. It creates a small uh, tent like for your uh, short naps or taking up some rest during your travel uh, intervals. This is for the electrical stacking up of pins using the same one. Maximizing the applications in the electrical perspective. So this is about uh, making the papers, pulps, the cellulose. Speaking about the cellulose, uh, God has almost created uh, some creature called mites. Mites are the only creature in the earth who can digest cellulose. They have very fine uh, digestive enzymes, mites. So why I say this is if you leave this uh, paper and uh, you allow to degrade it with mites, you get, uh, you have to wait for uh, months together for the mite activity. Mite might uh, clearly digest it. And you may ask, you may wonder what is the next activity for the mites. Mite is a very good source of protein. Uh, which the Chinese people have appreciated, but now we gradually started feeding the mites to the hen, poultry. So I have come across recently one of my friends who has a farming, insect farming, where he grows mites and black soldier flies, and he feeds it for the poultry stock what he has. So I just wanted to say the cellulose has a contact with uh, ecological cycle maintenance of mites, insects, but if you want to make those uh, wasted papers, you can uh, grind that and make into a mold. A paper molded chair can be a very handy one. Only thing is, uh, it cannot have water resistance. It will imbibe water. Percolation of water is always possible. This is uh, one particular furniture incorporated with the uh, bookshelves. Again, uh, uh, solar charger for the mobile phones. This is one explodable place furniture which occupies lesser space. Yeah, this is for the ambidextrous, uh, those who can use all keyboard users, all software engineers are ambidextrous because as a typewriter, uh, we use both our hands comfortably for our typing operations. So such designs will be very handy for gamers and uh, other kind of, uh, just to have a less strain in your fingers. So such operations for uh, biotechnological applications makes a product more sustainable. So certain cultures and certain uh, uh, medium has to be uh, treated and shaken with the same uh, frequency for n number of times. We cannot rely on human because the frequency will be uh, varying with respect to their interest as well as the time of the experiments. So these kind of uh, uh, automatic uh, agitator will give you the uniform uh, mixing of the particular medium and the treatment will be having a very reliable and uh, precision in the results is ensured. Well, I was saying about the green logistics inside the um, 
uh, workplace what we have is a uh, one such uh, try cycle in which uh, this this product has won the best sustainability award uh, in somewhere in mid of 2013 and 14 it's actually called a peristaltic uh, cycle in which your cycling will result you in uh, purifying the water so peristaltic pump is fixed in this cycle you have a storage tank you have to pour the water inside this it acts like a reservoir once you pedal it uh, after the pedaling is over water is purified pumped in and collected on a clean tank there is a filter in that the process of cleaning is done by peristaltic pump so now uh, peristaltic pump is a mechanical terminology uh, peristalsis is a biological activity in which we swallow the food the food travels to the intestine by the movement called peristalsis if somebody is having a stomach upset these waves are very active and uh, that is why they get a loose motion due to the continuous waves produced on the peristalsis so peristalsis is the movement which causes in the intestine which you have the sensation of going to the restroom frequently yes now you see this peristaltic pump when you want to understand what is peristaltic pump in the mechanical area i obtained this four animations in four different websites just to know what is a two stage peristaltic pump and what is a three stage peristaltic pump so the biological peristaltic movement is being inspired and it is used for pumping creating the suction head this is two stage because peristalsis takes place at two points when you have a more magnified view of this arrangement in this slide you can see this how uh, suction head is created and uh, uh the layer of uh, fluid is being transferred from here to there when you want to have the maximized uh, efficiency the two stage peristaltic pump is modified into a four stage peristaltic pump you have more frequent peristaltic movement because of the three point arrangement on the rotor so this is again established or explained uh, properly in a nice manner how this three stage peristalsis is being explained so this particular animation will make you to understand what is peristaltic pump what is two stage and what what is three stage pump so this is about the jacuzzis uh, those who have got a new house or those who are in the construction industry they may know what is a jacuzzi uh, and uh, after the death of uh, shri uh, our uh, well known actress uh, shri devi that jacuzzi has come to uh, good light so the reason for having jacuzzi is uh, you can immerse your body to the level of our requirements so this is a jacuzzi which has a preferred inclination usually in uh, when you go for a bathroom accessory the jacuzzi is angle is fixed but if you have a luxury of altering the angles you can treat different uh, medical problems like uh, neuropathy who want their feet uh, their um, feet to get immersed on cold water body and hot water and just want to get the wa uh, wetness on their feet for uh, several minutes to give a manicure or pedicure kind of treatments uh, you want to just take half body bath or a full tilting bath uh, why i say that is uh, as soon as uh, you you want to have a bath after uh, 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 you have some kind of coma but it is and uh, that will aggravate the condition you can may go into happy hypoxia and some kind of sudden death also so for elderly people if you have these kind of uh, alterable ones uh, even then in this condition the chances of uh, immersing your body and getting submerged in the water is very less you have the jacuzzi of this particular one you are not only minimizing the water but also it ensures the safety of the bathing person because usually we get into the bathrooms we have a tendency of latching it inside if some untoward things are happening especially for a challenged person especially for a adult uh, geriatric person who is very old especially for an intoxicated alcoholic person what is happening inside is totally uh, not uh, known for the person if we can only do we can after the calamity after the untoward action has happened then only so such kind of luxury in the jacuzzi is uh, highly uh, 
advisable for those who can afford that this is how we use uh, different uh, tube lights which are already gone out uh, which is very familiar in our roadside uh, uh, motels and dabas they used to decorate it with some colors also is again a collapsible furniture for uh, tube vv once the uh, for the session is over we can reorganize it to have a minimized area of the paint they are very uh, very in the legs with open coil heater springs and this is a double sided uh, clip and this one is in a better aeration uh, fruits can be vegetables can be stored for 3 to 5 days with uh, good amount of freshness being retained maximizing the usage of the bookshelves so diagonally this is being inspired from the bee hives honey honey bee hives are that so they have this actually speaking bee hives will be of uh, hexagon ones not those uh, trapezoidal or uh, square ones diagonal ones so you may ask what is the super thing in making a one hand that bottle opener you just think about an amputee who is having a problem with this uh, amputated hand he is a handicapped person who has only one hand so he has to take help from somebody to open the crown of a bottle a ketchup of a, uh, the crown of the ketchup any bottle so if one handedness is effectively appreciated uh, by such kind of openers this is again some kitchen accessories where you do the sieving operation and uh, storing operation grating cheese gratings can be done and collected below without any mess this is a one for egg storing usually good eggs will submerge uh, old eggs will float because of the air formation on inside the shells so we have a sustainable checking of the eggs just if you allow the eggs the freshness of the egg the fresh egg will always sink and submerge a old egg will start floating this is the concept of steep cultivation followed by israel they are very good at steep cultivation and they are very ahead of uh, farming in in terms of following the biotechnology genetically modified uh, crops which requires very less amount of water so when you just have an aquatic pump uh, like that of uh, aquariums the water reaches that and once the it wets the first layer again transfers to the next layer by gravity so only pumping to this level is the first job next the other job for being done by the gravity pumping operations now i am saying you no know, this uh, earlier i said it was inspired from the bee hives uh, it is like bee hive which has an hexagonal one to store the bottles again this three pillar concept of coming this is uh, in bangalore some uh, wipro companies uh, compound one these are all the cola bottles they use they are converted into into, uh, into a plant uh, growing pot so their gardening has been decorated uh, they are using the with some house constructions in thailand they have used the uh, waste water bottles pet bottles in which the plastics uh, have been effectively reused this is about uh, kitchen uh, tetra packs how they grow the parsley mint leaves basil leaves this is a one board of mass of south indian we have always uh, leaves in uh, round forms but a uh, prestige they created in the form of a triangular uh, leaves and if i just say the concept of this triangle the tapperness is uh, the tapperness is required so that it ensures easy removing of the cooked leaves and uh, it cannot be very sharp because again uh, as a mechanical engineer stress concentration or you will end up with lo more loss of leaves heat transfer should will not be that good when you have a tapered and other things used that is why you understand any boilers uh, we don't have any boilers in the dimension of square dimension you always have uh, boilers in cylindrical uh, actually the best uh, suited uniformly distributed stresses for boilers is spherical 
But uh, as of now, the manufacturing of spherical vessel for boilers is not viable and it ends up with a lot of uh, bigger seam welding. So they go for a cylindrical uh, boilers in which the hoop stresses, you have a uniform uh, distribution of circumferential hoop stresses. If somebody say uh, about a boiler, uh, immediately we come to the concept of hoop stress, circumferential stress and boilers, cookers, uh, let it be the boilers of a, a power plant uh, producing or the boiler what we come across in the tea making shops. So it can be uh, either way it is a boiler, the output is actually steam, in which the quantity and the quality of the steam will be much higher in the power plant, whereas in the tea boilers it is meant for cleaning the, making the hot water and cleaning the tea glasses. So even for the kitchen making uh, accessories, we, we some kind of sustainability in the design perspective just to avoid the boredom of the routine uh, idli users, they have water. This is a coconut coir uh, pit which can hold water in higher uh, uh, quantity. Horticulture, floriculture. Floriculture is an upcoming evolving department where flowers are being produced, warm budding. Uh, 5 kg can, 5 kg of pit is available uh, to carry 65 to 75 liters of water. It is very inert. It will not allow any unwanted organism to grow. It's very inert, sterile membrane. It is available in Amazon. This is one such uh, waste, using the waste bottles into a uh, kids storing box. This is about how pebbles are being used, broken marbles. I think if you go to Chandigarh, there is a place called Rock Garden. I visited uh, two years before uh, and there is a place entirely devoted for ceramic waste, all uh, toilet uh, ceramic vitrified tiles made into statues. One such arrangement is making the waste into place where the broken tiles are made into different statues. This is uh, small uh, projects which can be coming handy for the mechanical engineering students. Uh, electric uh, Electrified screw jack where you have motors for raising and lowering the body chases of the car. This is about how sustainable designs, this is not a, a right way, whereas this kind of stiffness, rips is required instead of adding the weight uh, in terms of factor of safety, uh, in terms of lessening the weight as well as not compromising, without compromising the strength, the design should follow this rule, having rips and fasteners for strength and This is having a visualization of a robotic uh, hand just tapping on the table. It's no way having any electronics is manually driven by a cam and uh, spur gears, which makes you the alternate feeling of tapping on the fingers. Again, few toys which makes to have the harmonic synchronized linking, all are made of wood out. This one you can uh, correlate with what I say, the peristaltic movement, uh, which is again the caterpillar moves. So these kind of moves of cams, so inside the cam is being operated manually, you can give it electrification also to understand how to visualize the very motion of peristaltic on the caterpillar. Uh, one, uh, once again, the same tapping of the fingers with the movement of the uh, spur gears. These are all the few more mechanisms in which I want to show to engineers for understanding a planetary crank gear. If you read some books and drawings, if you instead you see a small animation, how does a planetary crank gear works? So the yellow one moves around, it takes a revolution as a planet, and the same cranking operation is also done. Such things can be rod and crank gear mechanisms, can be understood, which has a sliding mechanism, which is incorporated with the sectoral gear, which gives the rocking mechanism. This is a linear indexing Geneva mechanism in which your circular arc is equally divided. That's pro that process is actually called as indexing. Usually, when the circular arc equally divides a linear line, see the line has been equally divided by a circular indexing. Mode. So that is called as a Geneva mechanism, linearly indexing Geneva mechanism. Once you see the animation of this indexing mechanism, like uh, throughout your life, you will have an idea what does actually indexing is mean. It's all about how does a machinist is indexing the circular or a straight or a linear path, how indexing is done. This is a walking robot mechanism. It's a school time project like work. 
you know you can see the inverter look for how the plastic gears and uh, small toy motor with the battery uh, probably nickel cadmium or lithium ion batteries this explorer views so you have a reciprocating lantern and pinion where it takes uh, anti clockwise for a uh, few time and clockwise for this you observe this wheel uh, now it is in anti clockwise now it is going for a clockwise turn so uh, this uh, rotation movement can also be uh, alternatively moved so according to the requirement we engage the reciprocating lantern and pinion mechanism this is 90 degree usually 90 degree uh, transmission we go for a bevel gear but in some places where we don't have the option of using a bevel gear due to some uh, restriction in the area there is uniform motion transmitter these kind of things also possible so it appears to be a marble automata but it is not an automatic one somebody has to do that it appears it goes to uh, the top most portion takes a slide comes back it's looking like a automation one same uh, marble automata hypocyclic scotch of mechanism you can see a reciprocating mechanism carried out and the upward and the downward motion uh, a crisscross motion which is can uh, governed by the planetary motion also you can see that uh, it's hypocyclic scotch of mechanism this is reciprocating sectoral gears uh, which has these two green gears are called sectoral gears one sector is engaged with uh, uplifting of the member the other sector is engaged with uh, downward movement of the center member uh, the both the sector gears are run by the behind you have the three wheels which is the driving wheels this is we call it as a pentagon uh, tracing wheel trees gears which is of ellipsoidal uh, dimensions so we we tend to see very rarely these kind of the uh, ellipsoid kind of gears where we can if you want to track a pentagon now we understand an ellipse is required uh, to track trace this so you understand so that is why the name itself is given as weird gears so if you want to trace a triangle form or the weird gears yes the same thing if you have the you can ensure the triangle being traced with the gears so this is the way uh, previously before going into any kind of electronic uh, way of uh, going the mechanical way of plotting and other things were this is a uh, asymmetric tying of two spokes uh, wind mill they have the stroking and tying on behind the wind mill they have the gear boxes they need to find the timing according to the amount of wind is being blown yes they have uh, now placed the wind mills uh, one after the other because uh, the wind direction and other things now most of the wind mills are being uh, uh, kept as standard in few of the advanced wind mills they have made that as uh, uh, the position can be changed to harvest more amount of the wind sometimes the direction gets changed they have the possibility of uh, changing the direction so as to harvest more power this is the arrangement what they have this is for uh, drone like planes and uh, uh, how we get inspired by a rattlesnake rattlesnake is found in deserts it is known for its uh, sound uh, rattling noise so that is very highly poisonous it moves in the side words because uh, if you if the snake takes a normal pattern like a snake more amount of body will get contact with the desert stand and it will burn the body when it takes the side words uh, it makes or it ensures minimum amount of body getting contacted with the desert sand and so that uh, the burning of the skin of the skin uh, snake skin is avoided by having minimal amount of contact with the desert sand why i am showing this is somebody has inspired by this snake and he has created a product you will be little surprised about uh, how can somebody have this kind of product by inspired by the looks of a rattlesnake so he has observed how does the jaw opening mechanism is open uh, how does it uh, Uh, how does it look like uh, the venomous snakes uh, claw and other things abstraction minimal keeping the character in mind implementation of form languages you take the different dimensions you keep on designing you go oh this is the end product it is a coffee dispenser yes it's a coffee maker take your venom is the tagline uh, some very monolithic it dispenses in two 
stations. Yes, you can see that. So the basic design is inspired from the natural snake. So this is how you do the biomimetics, taking the best design from the uh, flora and fauna, biological organism, and inspired from them, you end up with a product which engineered to the perfection. See this one. Yes. This is your take your venom product coffee dispenser, which is being designed by the improvisation and inspiration by a rattlesnake. You can see that. Okay, then uh, what do you understand by this last? Uh, we are getting in the last slide. You may ask, where do I land uh, if I have sustainability in your product? His name is Arunachala Muruganandam. He comes from a small village near Coimbatore. He is the person behind uh, the movie called Padman. Uh, he was the person who in, uh, discovered uh, low-priced sanitary napkins. Uh, he created a movement for the women to supply low-priced sanitary napkins, especially for the Northeast uh, uh, tea planters, they don't afford the sanitary napkins. They are not aware. So improper and unhealthy uh, menstrual hygiene will lead to lots of cervical cancer. It may have a lot of problems in their day-to-day -day activities unknowingly. So after the uh, discovery of this particular material, so he, he is a Padma Shri Awadi person. He has got Times Magazine's 100 influential people. He has uh, his own brand, Softax. He did not sell this to some uh, multinational. He made it uh, available for the common people. Yeah, poor menstrual hygiene causes infections, infertility, cancer, and death in rural women. So the one man that fight alone to ch change that. He, after uh, his story is being heard, Akshay Kumar has acted a movie, Bad Man. It, this is actually a social entrepreneurship. And uh, MIT Pat for uh, and Enterprise, his own daughter's name he has kept with Jaisri Industries. Uh, I'm coming to the end of the session. Uh, so I'm working in nuclear reactor. It's a three stage product. So we call it as a sustained uh, growth because uh, the used uh, fuel will be uh, recycled again and becomes fuel for the next cycle. So this cycle ensures the three-stage Indian nuclear program incorporates the closed fuel cycle and thorium utilization. We have abundant reserves of thorium. If we really want to have this thorium to get utilized, we have to get successful in this PFPR. That is a prototype fast builder reactor. Now we are in the second stage. So this is a well-established PHWR, pressurized heavy water reactors, where we have uh, the fuel is the natural uranium, the de depleted uranium, uh, uranium and plutonium goes as the fuel to this uh, plutonium fuel fast reactors. In this U233 and thorium is being used as a blanket. After that, uh, the used uranium will come for uh, fueling the thorium. So this is the third stage which is expected to come. So now we are in the second stage of that. Once we reach that, uh, you can see every single cycle going back and feeding. This back cycle understands you. We have a closed fuel cycle. We are not going to dump the waste. We are recycling the used fuel, which will become the fuel for the next stage. So these three stages makes us to ensure a sustainable power program. So thorium utilization is our main objective. For that, we are expanding the power program and building U233 inventory. U-233 is required to bombard thorium. Uh, U-233 and thorium will have uh, a better uh, amount of energy. See, uh, you can get 1,55,000 gigawatt per year of electricity. But we are in the stage of second stage. So the prime requisite is to successful completion of the second stage so that uh, we have a thorium utilization for sustainable pro power program. This nuclear power program is uh, very, very uh, green uh, emissions are very less compared to any kind of coal coal powered thermal any kind of uh, industry diesel power power plants the amount of uh, green gas emissions is very very minimum compared to the normal conventional technique okay so with that i conclude my session you can mail my your uh, valuable feedbacks to my mail id and i'll be happy to 
hear your feedbacks. Uh, have any queries? I think I have taken some uh, few more uh, time than the stipulated time. Thank you for your patient listening. I thank once again the opportunities, uh, uh, the organizers for giving me the opportunity to deliver the small talk. I thank uh, Tejas and uh, Mangulkar and Achori sir. I thank uh, the director of Ullas sir for giving me an opportunity. Some time back, I will get an opportunity to visit Aurangabad. I will come there and I will give you a real time uh, feel. I will see, I will look into the forward in the future. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your eye opening session. Uh, now I request Professor Tejas Patil, sir to uh, conclude the session. Good morning, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yes. Uh, so there are a few questions from participant. Uh, would you like to answer that? Yes. Uh, so there is uh, one question from Satyamurti. Uh, when we can proudly say that a product is sustainable product? Should I repeat, sir? Yeah, it's audible. Uh, when uh, you have yardsticks uh, differing from uh, place to place, people to people, as well as uh, um, in different perspective, the concept of successful, sustainable product, we have to long last in the market uh, for a, a infinite time. It should be available, first of all. It should be affordable, affordable in terms of cost. It should not be a very high uh, very high priced ones and at the same time the product should have environmental friendliness it should not create any adverse effects uh, during the end of time so if the product meets these kind three three basic pillars one is it should be uh, cost effective and at the same time it should be a profitable product for the manufacturer the second concept is it should be environment friendly it should not have any degradable pollution effects on the environment. It should not consume more amount of uh, resources in the operation time or greenhouse gases emissions. The last one is uh, people friendliness is very, very important. Mm -hmm. So the, the product satisfies these product three uh, pillars, people, planet and uh, profit. Definitely the product is uh, sustainable and uh, successfully it can call it as a sustainable product. Any others? Thank you, sir. Thank you. There is one question from Dipesh Mishra. Uh, can there be other sustainability indicators than social, economic, and environmental for a product? Yeah. Yes, definitely we need that. Definitely, we need to explore certain kind of parameters which can influence this uh, indicators. So you have to undergo lots of uh, literature survey, lots of products uh, analysis, lots of process enhancements, performance uh, uh, indicators. That's what I, I, I try to include certain words like ergonomics and aesthetics. So ergonomics and aesthetics are the two topics which, which have been touched very little by researchers as well as R&D people. They have been uh, worried more about the functionality and the, and the cost factors. They are not concentrated about the comfort factors. So these comfort factors as well as these uh, look and feel aesthetic factors, these Two factors can also be included in the uh, three more pillars, which can give you a complete uh, uh, product, which can be proudly said that yes, it's a real sustainable product, which can uh, sustain, which can have proven, which can be a proven environmental friendly, as well as uh, the customer point of oriented, the satisfaction, phenomenon, the quality function, deployed function. These kind of uh, entities will add up the efficacy or the efficiency of the particular product in the design perspective. So you can, you always have, if you, when you want to add up more parameters to a particular kind of uh, product design, you are, the, the parameters, sky is the limit for your imagination. You keep on analyzing different parameters like what I said, like products and uh, aesthetics. These kind of things always will add, up, add the values of your design product. Yes. Thank you. Thank, you, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I hope uh, Mishra, sir, has got the expected answers. Uh, one more question is there, sir, from uh, Manavalam. Uh, any product design development is a continuous or continual? It is definitely a continuous product. You keep on uh, updating your product. 
it may be either a software or it may be because uh, even uh, uh, a kind of uh, you have updates being continuously supplied for uh, softwares and uh, you have refurbishments you have uh, you have modifications you, you, you go for upgradations so definitely it's a continual product once you have a product the next uh, level or the next level of upgrading is being uh, eagerly awaited or eagerly expected from the customers so design or a uh, sustainability in your product is uh, always a continual product so that is the underlying product of this uh, iso also so it's a continual improvement in your product is always expected then only you can have uh, the satisfaction in the customer and your uh, your rank is and uh, your uh, role in, uh, strategy is ensured in the market sector so definitely it's a continual process thank you sir thank you uh, sir we are having last two more questions would you like to answer yeah yeah sir okay. uh, we are having question from deepa patil how far environment nature is helping for sustainable products uh, that's what i said the environment is now not in the form of helping it is it was earlier called as mother earth we are taking lots of resources we are plundering the water we are taking all sorts of uh, uh, minerals ores now earth is in the form of a daughter earth it's not a mother earth we have to now preserve nature we are in the process of cleaning river river we are in the process of cleaning water bodies we are in the process of recovering certain uh, lakes uh, which has gone into a process of algal blooms which makes the fishes uh, uh, to die which makes a uh, 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 a toxic atmosphere for aquatic animals so the biological oxygen demands in the lakes and water bodies have grown beyond all the bloom has happened so now it is in the dying state we have as a natural uh, enthusiastic nature enthusiasts people are working towards reclaiming the resources to the earth and the reserves are being preserved uh, like uh, growing more forest having uh, animal life uh, getting those uh, Uh, endangered species, uh, giving awareness uh, like save tiger, <laughs> these kind of things being continuously being uh, propagandized and advertised in government as well as schools. So certain education uh, also they are being planned to give some kind of information uh, about the importance of having a forest, uh, green houses, and uh, like when you have a green uh, green concepts in your educations. the uh, importance and significance of having um, uh, better environment say uh, definitely environment will not give you from certain ideas you may get inspired like uh, i was saying no mite is the one which can eat cellulose mite is a creature which can eat cellulose there are some uh, potential bacteria which can uh, degrade the plastics and polymers and there are some bacteria which can even digest the crude oil which is spilled out of the sea yes in 12th standard biology when you go to the clostridium uh, kind of bacteria they can even uh, split the crude oils uh, so we we think that we have a we need to have a typical chemical apparatus to uh, disintegrate the crude oil no already some uh, crude oil eating bacteria are already available in this uh, universe we need to deploy those uh, particular uh, uh, degrading bacteria to digest the spilled crude oil or waste oil on the sea instead of using buckets and carrying it uh, and people making it a standing in a line those kind of things can be avoided if you have a proper knowledge of uh, how to use a bacteria to digest the spilled oil so those kind of things can be incorporated definitely environment has its own solution if there is a imbalance uh, environment will take its own course of time to have the balance and equilibrium so as a education person as a researcher somebody has to uh, exploit or uh, provoke the right nodal areas so that you get into a, some solution which can address the current problem this is how i would like to see the inputs from environment thank you sir thank you for your valuable comments now we are having the last question from nitin patel uh, he is uh, having question i think related to design majors Uh, we try to make a new products which are helpful for humans and can be used to make our work easy but at some point excess use of products make a new problems yeah what he says like uh, when you get into a concepts like automation robotics uh, 
there is a training area called uh, artificial intelligence and uh, data learning machine learning so when you try to incorporate <coughs> certain things change is uh, inevitable day by day people are getting uh, these kind of changes uh, when you gradually understand what is the current industrial scenario industry one was there where we use uh, steam turbines uh, <coughs> and the energy was produced in that uh, small uh, uh, how does the steam engines was working that is industry 1.0 industry 2.0 is more about transports trains logistics because they wanted to carry the finished goods from a place to another place that was industry 2.0 now uh, industry 3.0 is all about automation hardware automation we go for automatic uh, robots and everything that is industry 3.0 3.0 where we have automation now the current one we they say is industry 4.0 industry 4.0 is a scenario where we have internet of things we link all the processes with the server which has internet access so we should be aware of the internet of things so whenever we have a problem in your any kind of machinery we are not in a luxury to shut down the instrument and we do the maintenance immediately we have a standby system which will take care of the existing thing and uh, in service uh, uh, maintenance being carried out with the crew with the help of the uh, support system from the literature which is being available and uh, for the maintenance we have different types of uh, realities uh, earlier we are all aware of virtual reality now on uh, in, in uh, as it got evolved from virtual reality to augmented reality now we can do maintenance with augmentation so once this virtual reality and augmented reality meets we get a concept called mixed reality so now after these three realities are come for the maintenance finally we end up with an extended reality so when you have these kind of reality spaces automatically your repair becomes so you have more complex in your automation definitely your works and area is getting more complex i agree that but these kind of changes in industrial scenario is totally unavoidable when we look for lesser time higher accuracy and cost reduction process iot4 aims on lesser manufacturing time more efficiency of the product achieving it in a better way <coughs> and it has uh, better deliverables and more precision in product quality with the least amount of time so lead time they will reduce all those things being achieved when you have internet of things in industry 4.0 so automatically what you have said automation which is an abundant becomes sometimes problem because the security threats in internets are hackers vulnerable to any kind of security things so any person who is working in the internet those who want to pay some money in the, through zomato uber apps ola he is prone to hacking there is a department in a particular college i come to know they have a separate department btec in cyber security and gaming btec which is specialized for cyber security ethical hacking hackers so we need to have developing several firewalls several antiviral things in terms of softwares to ensure the uh, uh, problems when we have this extreme kind of automations in terms of internet iot's is being employed for the current industrial scenario definitely disadvantages will be there we are they are in the process of overcoming it by a trial and error methods thank you Uh, thank you, sir, for your valuable comments. I hope Patel sir has got expected answer. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for being with us today. The session was very informative. And now I request uh, uh, Professor C D Sagar for a word of thanks. A very good morning to all, and thank you very much for being with us today for this program. It gives me a proud privilege to deliver the vote of thanks for this event to all dignitaries assembled here. I would like to thank our speaker, Dr. N. L. Parthasarthi sir, who honored this program with their studies and research in the area of sustainability in product design and conceptualization. Sir has explained the three pillars of sustainability in detail. the 6 re philosophy for the product design 
and sir we have understood the sustainability from the example apples are not the apples they are the orange i would like to thank our director dr ulla shurkar sir for the continuous encouragement for the organizing such a beautiful and brainstorming webinars i would like to thank our vice principal professor s b kallankar sir head mechanical engineering department professor p g taur sir without their support the program would not be successful last but not least i am very thankful to organizers my colleagues and the participants for making this program successful with the permission of dr n l parth sir sir and director dr ulla shankar sir i declare this program is over thank you all अजून एका तरंगात कुठे कुठे केले हां एका